Hello, my name is Jade Kramer and I am going to be talking about China's Communist Party. My thoughts about China's Communist Party is that it's it's not good. It's not good for anyone, although they're in their own country and have their own rules they have to follow. It's it's not a good one. They have rules such as they limit your internet usage and or they don't even have internet at all you can only watch channels they want you to watch on television radio radio and music i believe it's the same as television to where they want you to hear what they are putting out like they want you to only watch and listen to propaganda and which i'm glad that the united states or about california our state doesn't do that to anyone a communist party is basically where the government or president has full charge of what they can do to citizens and what you can't do like i said television radio and all that and social media i also noticed that in china mainly in north korea when you go to cut your hair at the barber shop or hair shop or whatever they call it over there, they have posters of hairstyles for men and women. And you can only choose that. You can't go and get bangs or like layers or anything what you could get over here. It's not the same. Over there, it's completely different. And you have to follow what they say. Otherwise, you could really get in trouble. For example, I saw on social media that someone went over there to North Korea to film what it's like to show everyone else who's not in North Korea how it is. And when he came back home to the United States, he got in so much trouble to where the North Korean government literally threatened him. If he didn't delete it, they would... I don't know what they would do, but... I remember hearing that he got threatened by the government over there and you don't want to be threatened by any type of government because they are powerful and they can literally do anything. Another example would be it's only the rich people, like the very, very rich people and the government who has cars. Over there, you mainly see people walking or on bikes. Or if you have some money, I believe it's motorcycles. But cars over there are very, very rare. Like I said, for the government or the rich people. One thing I don't like over there is that they make their town center very, very nice. It makes it seem like they have money. But if you look at the communities, like the housing communities, neighborhood communities, it's very very poor to me it seems like they give their residents or citizens the poorest of poor household or housing i i would have thought that in north korea they would have given their citizens at least somewhat of a better living situation but that that's not the case it's very sad Another thing I would have to say would be that even if you are lucky to go over there and you want to experience it for yourself, they do have tours and you are not allowed to roam around North Korea alone. You will always need to be by a tour guide watching you. I believe once you land in North Korea, they give you a cell phone. And I don't think you could use your cell phone because they're scared that you are going to leak stuff into where you live, if that makes sense. But in North Korea, when you, if you do go, they only want you to see what they are letting you see. I think it's where when they know tourists are coming, they tell everyone to be on their best behavior. It seems like they do that, but I'm not sure because I haven't gone and I don't think I would want to go because I'm just scared of what would happen since I'm American and I'm pretty sure they do not like Americans. 
but I do know that if you are a Taurus, they make everyone seem as if their country is perfect. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but my trust in government, I don't trust the government at all. There are some things I agree on with the government, but a majority I don't agree because the government is very sneaky. To me, I think that they're very two-faced. The government is very good, but they're also very bad. They implement good ideas, but they also have very bad thoughts. And sometimes the government does not think about the bad thoughts and how the bad things they do, how it will affect the citizens. If that makes sense. <laughs> but that's all I have to say. I don't trust any type of government because the government is very, very scary. They are capable of anything and everything. So just always be aware of who your govern governor or government is because you don't want to get in trouble by them. Even in North Korea, don't. But that is my presentation on China's Communist Party. And only North Korea is a Communist Party. Only North Korea is the only country that falls into their leader's rule. Every other country is not like that. South Korea is not like that. And it's very sad that everyone is scared of North Korea. I don't think there is someone who I know who is not scared of North Korea. I believe you can simply ask someone and they will they will get they will be scared because it's very controlled and they're very very powerful. I remember I know I'm rambling but the last thing is I remember when I believe it was Trump who messed with North Korea and the whole world got scared even countries not who even countries who don't like live in the United States they even feared for us because everyone knows what North Korea is capable of doing but this is already very long this is all I will be saying and this is my presentation have a good day thank you